It is a foggy, overcast morning here in Delaware. Welcome everyone, Adam uh, is the woo here. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different than the norm. The internet is an interesting place. This YouTube phenomenon that a lot of us have stumbled into, have been sucked in like a tractor beam, can be an interesting lifestyle not only for the ones doing it, but also for the ones who watch it and critique and criticize and leave comments and criticisms and minute, teeny tiny investigation into everyone's life and every moment that is put onto camera and into these vlogs. And that is what I am referring to today. There is a gentleman who resides here in Delaware. Some people call him the king of the trolls. I do not know if I share that exact terminology about this man. He calls himself a critic and a lot of times he is very critical not only about me but other people who do what I do. He has invited me to hang out with him today. He wants to do an interview. I thought about this for a good long while. I have decided to take him up. Up. Take him up. Take him up on his offer. And that's what's happening right now. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. The Daily Woo. You might be asking yourself, why would you put yourself through this? Why would you go hang out with someone who's constantly bashing you? And the reason is, I really need to meet face to face to find out what someone's true intentions are. Is it constructive criticism? Is it done all for comedy? And that's what I'm curious about. You ever get a text message from someone, even a friend, and you really have a hard time gauging what they're really, what they're really trying to say. Sometimes the internet's that way. I am now in the passenger seat of the one and only Dave Hughes Mobile. <laughs> Do you have a name for your car? Little Adam. <laughs> oh, so it's not the Dave Hughes Mobile. No, you have Large Marge and Lil Adam, named after guess who? <laughs> He named the car after me? I did, I did. It's in your honor, yes. So before we start hanging out today, how would you describe your YouTube? How would you describe yourself if someone said, who are you and what kind of content on the internet do you do? How would you? I just do, I like to review my favorite YouTubers. You know, I love watching the nomads. I love watching people living in their vans and their RVs. You, the carpetbagger, Eric, the nomadic fanatic, the whole bunch of people. And I just like to talk about it, you know, and people seem to like to listen to me. Or at least there's a small contingent. So yeah, you know. You have developed a core following I, of A very small core, but there are a loyal they three are, or four hundred. And yes. they are very opinionated. Yes. You're very oh, opinionated very as opinionated. well. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you will say something and people just, they run with it. Yes. They, they take your opinion and then they formulate their opinion based on your opinion of what my opinion is and everybody else. So it's just a bunch of opinions whirlwinding around yes. the interwebs. I think most people, they may watch two seconds of my video and then they end up, um, you know, just commenting on all the crazy crap. So yeah, yeah. Where are you taking me? Where are we going? We're going down to the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk, baby! Rehoboth Beach. He's parking his car. <laughs> I've never had someone name a vehicle after me. It's kind of flattering. Got myself a regular coffee. And what'd you get? I got a black iced tea. Are you a coffee drinker or more no, of a tea I'm a tea guy. I'm British, some tea. This is interesting. It looks to be almost like a grave headstone but it's actually the dedication of the tree below it. Because all down the row, there are little placards. Each tree is in remembrance of someone different. I love this building across the street. It reminds me of something you'd see in old school Hollywood Boulevard, but it's not, it's in Delaware. The people that give a crap are over there. He's pointing this direction. What side are you standing on, Dave? Uh, on the wrong side. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh yeah, you see the trees in there. The Atlantic Ocean, very beautiful. Standing here on the boardwalk. Remember the song, Under the Boardwalk? Remember that song, Under the Boardwalk? I do, yes. It was used in the movie Beaches, the Bette Midler movie. Ah. And she was actually under the boardwalk with 
Mayim Bialik played a young Bette Midler, who has now gone on to fame in, what's that TV show that she's in? Big Bang? Big Bang Theory. You can't, I did not know that. I did not know that was her. Wow. You didn't know that was her? I she was. Not. She played a young Bette Midler in the 1980 movie, beat 1980s, mid-80s, Beaches. And they were under the boardwalk, but that was in California where you can go under the boardwalk. Cape May, New Jersey, which is at the tip of the peninsula there, we spent every summer there. I mean, multi, you know, Dad would take us down. We could get down there in an hour and a half from where we lived. So you're used to the boardwalk mentality. Oh, yeah. Is well, there like a certain strut? Is there a way you're supposed to strut down the boardwalk? Ah, uh, not you really. Just, you just kind of just own it, right? You just own it, yeah. You just own it. Move out of the way. We're owning. Move out of the way, people. We're owning the boardwalk. Is that how you do it? Yes. Zoltar is here to tell you you can believe it. Why is it? It is simply a matter of mind. If you don't mind, then my friend, it doesn't matter. All right. So go on. Be carefree like a little baby. But first, give Zoltar a little money and I will give you a fortune. He says to be carefree like a little baby. Does this, does this remind me of one of the YouTubers that you review? Does that, does that look like someone familiar? I don't know. I don't know, man. Who do you think? Also, do you think this should apply to the internet? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yes. You think that we should we should take we should take the advice? Should we? Should I take that advice? The new motto of YouTube. Baby, you should learn. You should learn from this little statue right here. It's just something really cool about a beach boardwalk. It kind of has that old school feel to it. What'd you get inside? I what got a sticker! What does the LSD stand for? Lower Slower Delaware. Oh, it says it right there on the bottom. So does everyone in Delaware just kind of go at their own pace? That's right, everything's slow down here. He was also on, you know what other show, okay, you know what other show he was on? I Dream a Genie. Yeah. Okay, you got yeah. it, see? Yeah. Not everybody knows that though. Oh, yeah. Not everybody knows that JR was the love interest. Was he a love interest? Yeah, yeah, he and Jimmy were sorta. in love. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like, you know, they never got married, never did anything. But yeah, they were always, that was the whole yeah. plot there of the show. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, where, that's where he got all that money from. This is what is known as the Cannonball House. The last remaining home bearing the scar of the War of 1812, right down there, look at that. There's a little remnant of the past wedged into the side of the brick. There's a museum across the street and the structure of the building is very unique looking. The 300th anniversary of the settlement, of the, the Dutch settlement in, in this part of North America. The Dutch controlled everything. This was the southern end of their settlement here in Lower Delaware. They ran all the way up to New York don't quote me on all that. I'm not a historian. Pretty interesting looking building. Yeah. And entry is free. Let's check out what's inside. There it is. There he is. Now, how do you pronounce the Swan words? Swanendale. Swanendale. There's a Fiji merman, which popularity from Ripley's Believe It or Not have brought these to the forefront, but they have one in Delaware. Gonna grab a bite to eat now at the Lewis. Diner. Do I look like a troll? You think I look like a troll? She says you look like a troll, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you think he looks like a troll? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she called it. <laughs> what do you? What's your response, Dave? I'm I'm honored. I'm honored. The trolls. Oh yeah, I do look like that guy with a the cap. There's my cap. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> Trollpedia. I have to go there. Which troll? You should invest in that website. Mm -hmm. Trollpedia. The waitress, when she walked up, said, "You remind me of a troll." That's right. Isn't that? How does that make you feel? I'm honored. I am totally honored. What'd you get here to eat? I got a cheese, turkey, and ham hoagie. And some fries. And some fries. Normally you frown upon fries, but Yes, today, I'm, a hippo I'm a total hypocrite. You're a total, say that again? It's un there's just fatty food and I'm a total hypocrite. <laughs> and I got... <laughs> and you got, well, yours isn't much Mine better. Mine isn't much better. And I got some sort of pasta. Oh, it's a ravioli. And there are meatballs in here. Driving, oh, look at that bird. Hitchcock. What's that? 
Hitchcock would be proud. <laughs> Driving along the canal, it is rumored that right down here somewhere is Delaware's version of the Fountain of Youth. There it is. It does exist. Still has the wooden sign. And I don't know if it's like a wishing well style or what exactly it is, but there's some stairs here leading down to a nasty swamp shrubbery. Are you supposed to like dive in there? Does that make you I don't useful? Know, it looks like a mosquito breeding ground. Who it? needs oil of Olay when you just can just jump in there? Are you feeling game? You want to jump in? No. No? I do not want to jump in. There's probably like piranhas in They're there. You think there's piranhas? There's like a plastic trash bag in there. Trash the bag there, a frisbee there. over there. When most people think of the Fountain of Youth, they think of Florida. When you think of the Fountain of Youth, what do you think of? I think of Delaware! Delaware, why not? You remember our old um, uh, the Vice President Joe Biden? You I know, did. he's 185 years old. Is but he? this water from this Fountain of Youth, he doesn't look a day over 65. It looks like you've welded shut the yeah i know Does this your radio, radio no the radio works great does it's it just uh what's going on with the buttons the here? buttons are all flaked off i don't know i've done i've done, watched some other youtube videos about 2006 vw golfs and they've all got the same thing there are quite a few lighthouses oh. in this neck of the woods the thing is i haven't seen any on the water they're all they're all landlocked they're, the two lighthouses in lewis are actually out on little rock the formations out in the bay yeah you can't actually walk there Cape May, if you go over to Cape May, there's a lighthouse right on the land. Does Mickey Rooney, did Mickey Rooney, when he was alive, did he ever, did he ever Mickey, come out here? Mickey Rooney, I do not know. Although Ed McMahon, Ed McMahon had a place in South Jersey there, right off the, a place called Avalon. Do you ever yeah. see Pete's Dragon? No, I'm not into that kind of movie, man. Was that come Helen, on, Lampy! Helen, I, did met, I did see Helen Reddy once, but I never saw Pete's Mickey Dragon. Rooney played Lampy. He was a drunkard. Which, uh, was Mickey Rooney in real life, did he drink a little bit? He probably did. So basically, Mickey Rooney was playing a lighthouse keeper. Yes. You should check it out. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna put that in your ne Netflix clip. <laughs> this is Rehoboth Bay. There's a little gazebo here. And Dave wants to do a little interview. What do you film your videos with? I have, uh, this is my new camera. This is a new little Sony action cam. Um, I picked this up at a Best Buy Black Friday sale for a hundred bucks. Do you before record I left. all your vlogs and videos? Pretty much on this. You have this one and an older one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna sit right over here. You can ask me some questions. Yeah. I'll answer most of them, and then and you I will. Can, you can play plead the fifth if you don't want. And I will put a link to your interview with me at the end of this vlog. Yeah, 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 baby, yeah, baby. Wow, Adam left his camera, his, his phone. I, I got it, I'm in control. I'm running his channel now, yeah! <laughs> He's halfway back to Baltimore and he doesn't even realize he left his phone here. Oh wow, oh wow. Well anyway, uh, check me out. I do my interview with Adam. Uh, I don't know, he's gotta come back and get his phone but you know, you can watch my interview with Adam. I'll put that on my channel, so check it out. Vlog, What's, what do I say? What do I say? Blog under!